artists, it's Mrs. Rhodes here. Today we're going to be learning about Eric Carl and we're going to be making our own Mr. Seahorse using some special tissue paper and painting an ocean background. You're going to start by tracing your seahorse with Sharpie, making sure you write your name and code at the top. You're going to take your time while tracing, there's no need to rush. If you find a dry Sharpie, you can just place it on my desk and grab a better one. Once you're done tracing with Sharpie, close your Sharpie tight and grab some tissue. You also need water and a green paintbrush. You're gonna start by painting clear water on a small section of your seahorse and then tearing pieces of tissue paper and placing it on top of that water puddle. Finally, you'll put water over the top of that to make sure it's wet and stuck to your paper. You'll continue adding water, then tissue, then water to fill your whole entire seahorse. Keep in mind when you overlap these tissue pieces, they will mix to make new colors. So pink and blue will make purple, red and yellow will make orange, and green and yellow, or excuse me, blue and yellow will make green. Once you're done with your tissue, make sure it's all wet before placing your seahorse on the drying rack. Next, it's time for our ocean background. This is where our seahorse will eventually live in their habitat. You're gonna start by writing your name and code on the back of your paper. And before adding paint, you're actually gonna add some clear water again in just a small section. That will make the paint easier to spread. And this is an ocean, so you're gonna go for turquoise, blue, you could use the green, you could use the violet, and there's also a pink color that you could use. You can decide if you're painting stripes, zigzags, swirls. I started by adding just some base color and then I added some swirls on top. So you're the artist, you decide your ocean. You can also decide how much of each color you're using Make sure you're um, swirling gently in your paint because this paint is a little bit rough on our paint brushes. So being kind to our brushes as we fill our whole paper with color. 